And this is the fifth consecutive year we're releasing detailed information on total compensation for top ranking public sector executives in BC. I want to point out this is something uh, that I personally and as a government am very proud of. We have got the best practices in North America. I will uh, really underscore that in terms of the standards of reporting which require disclosures to be uh, posted annually. Uh, we're also beginning a process now that will bring uh, as I committed in the budget, uh, I would be reviewing executive compensation, including bonuses. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, some additional restraint we're going to be putting in place in terms of executive compensation at the Crowns to better align with the restraint that's already been in place for years uh, in government uh, to make sure we meet the expectations of uh, government, but also of, more importantly, taxpayers. Now, remember, we've seen total compensation is down, as we, I just reported out here a few slides back, but what we're doing is we're saying it is now frozen. We don't want to see any circumstance in where we'll see an increase uh, in, in compensation for executives uh, effective today. Um, we are moving to a holdback-based model, uh, which is similar to what we have in government. Uh, it is not pensionable, the holdback, so it's very similar to what we as uh, ministers do on the 20% of our salary that's held back, that is not pensionable. Uh, it will be the same, it is the same in fact for um, executives in government and it will be applying to uh, commercial crowns too. Um, new senior executives will be recruited at 10% less than the current incumbents. Uh, executives cannot earn more than 85% of what the CEOs make. Uh, that's to address issues where we're finding senior executives are earning uh, close to or up to what the CEO is earning. Um, Non-executive holdback and bonuses are eliminated uh, for any new hires or replacement positions that are filled. Uh, crowns will match, as I mentioned, government's expense reimbursement policy, which is essentially out-of-pocket expenses related to work. You get reimbursed, that's it. There's going to be no other perks beyond that. Um, and uh, perks are eliminated, or perk allowances are eliminated except for vehicle allowance where it's required for work. And there's going to be uh, uh, just a hard limit of six organizational layers uh, it, at any crown unless uh, any uh, um, exemption is specifically approved. I, I still believe strongly that we need to make sure the taxpayers understand that it is going to get even tougher. Uh, for crowns and that's given the environment that we're in. When things get better we can review that again uh, but during the difficult times we want to make sure that there is shared sacrifice in the crowns to the same level that we've got it here in government.